Turkish scholar Fethullah Gulen has inspired millions across the world. Journalist Jamie Tarabi scored a rare interview with Mr. Gulen for the Atlantic magazine. Ebru's Tazmi Mafuz talks to the reporter about her scoop. Fethullah Gulen is one of the most important Muslim clerics alive today. But one hardly ever sees Mr. Gulen in public. Since 1999, he has been in a self-imposed exile in the Poconos. Major media networks and journalists have tried to interview him. Gulen had turned us down for an interview. We kept thinking, okay, the man's gonna walk out, but he didn't. To interview spiritual leader Fethullah Gulen is a rare opportunity, but one that journalist Jamie Tarambay managed to secure. Finally, five years later, I, I, it happened. Jamie, an Australian-born journalist, embarked on a project on Muslims in America five years ago. She heard about Gulen's international movement and since then tried to get an interview. The idea that he'd been living here for so many years and had never really introduced himself to Americans I thought was so strange. Her persistence paid off. She's one of the first to have a face-to-face -face interview with the renowned leader. It was great. I was very happy, happy to have finally gotten the interview. He was extremely generous. He was very welcoming. I had been served tea and he was asking me to drink and there was never a sense that I wasn't welcome for, for a second there. Mr. Gulen told Jamie that Muslim women, including the Prophet's wives, contributed to society and even taught men. It's always very encouraging when you hear a leader who is so influential say things uh, that are extremely moderate and extremely encouraging of women. You don't always hear spiritual leaders of movements say those sorts of things. In regards to Turkey's political situation, Mr. Gulen said Turkey needs to make use of certain dynamics to take on a more active role in the region. Good relationships and influence depend on love, respect and goodwill and collaborating around mutually agreeable goals. Jamie even had an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at Gulen's simple lifestyle. His living quarters are extremely modest, it's like a, a little bed, you know, not even like a double bed, it's just a, a single bed and he's not married, doesn't have a family. but. He's got a lot of people around him who are there because they love him. This year, Mr. Gulen was chosen as one of Time's 100 most influential people. And inspired business leaders to open 135 schools in 26 states. They're academically focused, they're not religious schools. They thought they certainly can't be even in this country. But it's really about building intellectuals and intelligent and business leaders for the future. Up until now, Mr. Gulen remained a mystery to the public. But Jamie's interview has served as a bridge for Americans to become acquainted with the scholar. This is Mafus, Ebru News.